Hello children, I'm privileged to be with you here at this time. Um, teacher Richard, take you up in science. We want to share a, a very uh, useful moment with you in science. Um, there is a, something that uh, uh, happened to me when I was about to wake up to go and bathe. Um, I switched on light, but I realized that uh, the bulbs were not working. But when I struggled to move out, I would not see anything. I even didn't know where the uh, bathing materials were, where the door was. Meaning that I failed to work. I kept asking myself too, why the I failed to work? I needed only one thing to see. My eyes were okay. Just as you see me now, I'm not blind. I can see right now well. But at that time, I was not able to see. But I just needed something to make my eye work. But later, I thought of something that could make me uh, see well. What did I do? It was just a matter of picking. I only did this. The room all of a sudden became bright. So I could see where whatever I needed was. And what is that I needed? It's only this. And this is all that I needed. And it is light. It's light. It's light that I needed. It's what made me not to see. You can have the good eye, but in the absence of this, you will not see. You will not see. Now, if it's only the light that can enable the eye to see, for that matter, somebody asks you, what is this light? Then it tells itself that it is what enables your eye to see. So should they ask you, what is light? You just say, light is a form of energy. Because why do I call it form of energy? You remember, energy is the ability to do work. Now, if I say it is a form of energy, it has ability to do work. Which ability has it enabled? My eye to do work. It has enabled my eye to see. So that means it is energy. So when I'm saying what is light, I say light is a form of energy that it is the one that enables me to see. So I say that it enables us to see. So when they ask what light is, boys and girls, we just simply say light is a form of energy that enables us to see. So therefore, um, you realize that uh, what you see is what the light has reflected into your eye. If light is not entering your eye, that's why I told you, I found a challenge when I was waking up in bed. I had no light. So there was no image, there was no object I could see because light was not entering my eye with the image of objects that I was supposed to see. Therefore, if there was light, whatever I wanted to pick, to use, the image would come with light, it would enter my eye, the eye would send that message to my brain, the brain would interpret, I would know exactly what I wanted to do. But in the absence of this light, that was not possible. Therefore, you can only see when light is there. That's why we are saying it's a form of energy that enables us to see. Yes, you have the eye. Somebody is going to ask me, you, I have the eye, but I can't see. Uh, boys and girls, I want you to do something very simple to find out whether it is truly the light that makes you to see or that enables you to see. What you do is simple. Don't you do it? You may see your mom go that raise the voice at night. Let them go somewhere or go to your room. Switch off the light. See whether you see everything that is in the room. Go where you want to move. Run around the room when there is no light and see whether you see everything that you want to see. You will not see. Why? There is completely no image of any object that 
your eyes will see. The sense of your eye only what we have what we call light sensitive sense of the eye. They will only enable you to see if these lights that make them active. So this light, without it, not see. Therefore, uh, boys and girls, I will able to tell you that um, uh, for us to see, we need light. Now, if somebody asks you, why can't I see in the absence of light? What will be my response here? Because now we are saying we can see because of light. But somebody is going to tell you, uh -uh. you know, you tell me if the light is not there. Why can't I see? The reason is simple. There will be no image that will be, there will be no information that will be taken to your eye from the brain to the brain. Because whatever your eyes see is what the light has reflected in your eye. So it is what the brain will interpret so that you can see. So in the absence of this light, in total darkness, you are not going to see anything because there's no light to reflect image of anything for your eye to see. Therefore, this makes you not to see in total darkness. Um, the light we are talking about here, it comes from different objects, which sometimes we say sources of light. When I talk about sources of light, I mean those objects that produce this light that we need in our daily life. So sources of light. So when I talk about sources of light, I've told you it means those objects that produce the light that enable our eyes to see. Where does that light come from? Uh, this light comes from different objects. Uh, I have the simplest here. I have the simplest here. This we have it in our homes. You can see already, right there. there is light there. You can see it flashing on my finger. There is light. But what is producing that light? It's not the whole of this object. That light is coming from those objects. Let me go ahead and show you. But the light comes from those very many objects which are in there. Those things are not called bulbs. And if you look, if you could read it carefully here, they have written something here. There is something written in here, L, E, in couple letters, L, E, B. They have written L, E, B, light. What do they mean by this? After L, E, B are the names, or is the name of all those things you see in there, that light emitting diodes. It means these are not bulbs, these are diodes that produce light. So those are light emitting diodes. That means the source of light here is the light emitting diodes. So we are going to say one source of light here is light emitting diodes. That is not all. When you look in your room, wherever you sleep, if your building or your house has electricity in there, when you look up, you are going to see that there are bulbs, the electric bulbs. You are going to have electric bulbs in there. These electric bulbs too, they are sources of light. When we talk about sources of light, I still remind you, sources of light, those are things that produce the light that enable our eyes to, to see. I have said one is light emitting diodes. Two, I have said electric bulbs, which are very common in our homes. Some even some of these torches at home, they use those bulbs. Car lamps, car headlamps, car indicators, when you check in there, they are bulbs, they always blow out. That goes ahead and buys another one and fixes. Because he wants that car to produce for him light at night. So, bulbs. Uh, we have, here I'm going to mix them. I'm going to mix them, we shall sort them out. 
We have, other than bugs, there are some uh, living things that produce this light also. We have things like glowworms. We have glowworms. When I talk about glowworms, somebody is going to think about real worms. These are not worms. These are basically insects. Actually, these insects are in a, a, a group of beetles, but uh, they have special organs around their abdomen that uh, cut out chemical reaction that produce light. Uh, other than glow ones, we also have what we call, um, there is what we call um, the sun. The sun. The sun produces light. Actually, the major source of light on the earth is this one. The one we actually use on a daily basis. It is the major. All other organisms actually uh, they depend on the sun for their major use of energy. So the sun produces light for us. Then we have the stars. We have the stars. We have the stars. The stars also produce light. We have the stars. Uh, we have um, fire flames. We have fire flames or flames from fire. Flames from fire. At night, when you light your candles and it is burning, you see a flame. And that flame, yellow or whichever color it will produce, you are going to see it emitting light. You are going to see it producing light. Okay? Then uh, uh, we have a firefly. Now, when I say a firefly, this firefly and the glow ones, they are in one group of some insects. Those are different species of insects which we call beetles, special kind of beetles that produce light. All of them, they have special organs. They have special organs in their abdomen that uh, help them to produce light. Uh, you may ask what they need for. What do they use that light of theirs? That light, these glow ones, they use uh, fireflies or firefly. They use it to look for food, to attract their prey. Sometimes they want to attract their friends to come to them. The mates, because if you look at it carefully, there is a season where you find these fireflies and glowworms at night. They are very common. They light up the night like stars in the sky. Why? They are trying to attract their mates to come. They are trying to attract prey so that they can also have something to eat. So therefore, uh, these are some of the few sources of light that are put up here. But out of these sources of light, we need to separate them. Much as there are others, like erupting volcano. Hmm? Like erupting volcano. We have the erupting volcano. Even this one produces. Hmm? Erupting volcano. Erupting volcano or volcanoes, if we like it. Erupting volcanoes. This one, uh, in social studies, your teachers must have ever covered about a volcanic eruption. When eruption takes place, that is, of course, a huge amount of light is produced during that process. When the uh, eruption is taking place, you'll always see uh, light being produced. We even have lightning. Hmm? We have lightning. We have even lightning. We have lightning. We have lightning. Uh, when it's about to rain and the day is very cloudy, you always see uh, a huge spark of light in the sky. And that's what we're calling lightning. Lightning. So it produces light. Uh, how it produces light? It is due to friction and um, uh, we shall see maybe the details of that in our other um, lesson that we shall have in the future. Uh, 
Boys and girls, we have a task. We have a task. We have just listed the sources of light anyhow here. We have just listed them anyhow. But uh, we haven't done something. Some of these objects, some of these sources, they exist naturally. Man has no influence over them. But some of them, man made them. I told you that when I woke up at night, there was no option. It was dark. But I had all this, just a matter of uh, checking there, I put on and the light comes. Okay? So some of these, they are man made. Man makes them to overcome challenges. Remember, this sun provides for us enough light day day. But when night falls and the sun sets, trouble begins at night. How shall we see something that is in the kitchen, something that is in the bedroom, in the absence of the light from the sun? Like now, you see me talking to you, teaching you, but I'm using the light from the sun. What about right now, if the evening comes and it's night? What do I need? So man had to look around, has made some artificial sources of light, then others that are not made by man, we shall call them natural sources of light. So we are going to divide these in two groups. We shall say natural sources of light and artificial sources. Those that are made by man, we shall call them artificial sources of light. Those that exist in nature, that were made by God and we're using them as they existed, we are going to call them natural sources of light. So therefore, members, let's begin grouping. When we're grouping these according to the way they exist, we're going to begin with those ones that are natural before we go to man-made. So let's have here natural sources of light. Natural sources of light. Begin thinking down there and find out out of this group which ones are not man-made and they are the ones we are going to single out and write under this as natural. So think about in this list which objects are not made by man. God made them so for us we just found them already existing, they are producing light. Don't mind whether it is an insect or an animal here and it is producing light. Because I believe man has not made an animal of his own. Man is just uh, continuing with what God has made as a natural thing, if it is something that has life. So look for what is here and it is made by God. And we write them under natural sources of God. And for me, I will begin with this the one that is making me enjoy this lesson with you today. I want to begin with the sun. It is natural. Who has ever made the sun here? The sun is something natural. I look for another one. The stars. These are natural things. We always see them in the sky at night. Hmm? The stars. Those are natural sources of light. Look for something. Look for something here. Look for something that emits light, that produces light, and it's not man-made. We write them under here. I can even see here. These two erupting volcanoes, lightning. I just transfer them here. They are natural. Hmm? Lightning. Light. Check the spelling carefully. Light. Then write name. Lightning. Pupils, you always like adding, not liking. But you forget and you add here letter E. And you always say lightning. It's not lightning. 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 So check that. Check that. Then we have that erupting. 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 We are using the word erupting because we want that one which is still in the process. The volcanic eruption which is still occurring. When it is still occurring, it produces that light erupting, erupting volcanoes. Mm -hmm. Erupting volcanoes, that is natural. 
That is natural. Let's look through our list. Which one have we singled out? I see here a glow one. Hmm? We bring it down here. Glow one. Or glow ones. Hmm? Come down here. Another, I see here, fireflies. Or firefly. I see firefly. Fireflies one one. Firefly, or we can say flies, because there are many. Hmm? We can even call them lightning bugs. We can call them lightning bugs. That's another word for fireflies, if you like. Which other one? Check, check, check our list. Flames from fire? No. This is man made. We come up here. Electric bulbs? No. This is man made. Light emitting diodes? No. This is man made. Therefore, boys and girls, when you look at natural sources of light, sources of light, objects that exist in nature, that are natural, that produce light, we have the sun. We have the stars, we have lightning, we have erupting volcanoes, we have glow worms, we have fire flies. I said you can as well call them lightning bugs. Therefore, when you look at all this list, this side, whatever we haven't listed among this, just know that man made. Therefore, we are going to write them under artificial. Anything made by man, that's artificial. Even if he tries to copy God. But it will remain artificial. Natural things are made by God. But what man begins making to copy what God has made, we call it artificial. Because it is not going to be permanent like for God. Therefore, we shall have here artificial sources of light. Let's have it here. Artificial sources of light. Artificial sources of light. There we are. So we can simply just look at these ones that we have not ticked. Uh -huh. We have light emitting diodes. Now light emitting diodes. We have um, electric bulbs. We have electric bulbs. Keep checking our list. Boys and girls, keep checking our list. Keep checking. We have flames from fire. You are free. You are free to uh, light your candle and you see whether when it's burning that flame will produce light for you. Check that out at night. Flames from fire. So I task you, I task you to do that. Find out if I light my candle, if I light my hurricane lamp, that light it is producing or that flame which is burning there, that fire. Can it produce light for me to see at night? Try it out and see how it works for you. Um, boys and girls, as good children listening, something is going to be done here. Uh, remember, we are just listing sources of light that enables our eye or that enable our eyes to work, to see. We are good them as natural and artificial. But when you look at these sources we have listed here, some of these things, all these objects, they produce light of their own. These sources, you see, when you look at them, some produce light of their own. There are some things that do not produce light of their own. And you are going to look at them and you think, I want to uh, look at a like, moon at night. You see the moon as if it is producing light at night. 
I want you to carry out a simple experiment. Get mummies or daddies or your plain mirror, if you have it at home, or that blessing mirror. Go out, check where the sun is, tilt it, tilt it, just put it at an angle, okay? Tilt it a bit towards the direction of the light and see the effect. What it does is exactly what the moon does to the sun. The sunlight, when it falls on the moon, the moon throws it onto the earth. And for us, we see it like the moon is producing light. That's why I'm saying, when we are looking through all this, we are going to realize that eh, there are things we see that produce light, but when the light is not actually being produced by them, they are simply reflecting light from a source. Now for the moon, it reflects the light from the sun. And we have in the brain mirror, it is still reflecting light coming from another source. They are, uh, we have planets, they still do the same. Therefore, we are going to group again these objects where we have said artificial sources of light, natural sources of light, we are again going to group them along that line. Those that produce their own light, and there are those that do not produce their own light, instead, they reflect light that these others here have already produced. So in that case, those that produce light of their own, we call them luminous. Check, luminous objects. Luminous objects. And what are these luminous objects? I say, these are objects, these are materials that produce light of their own. If lightning produces light, then it is luminous. If the sun produces light, it's luminous. If the stars are producing light, they are luminous. If the fireflies produce light, they are luminous objects. So whatever we are going to bring under this, those are uh, objects that produce light of their own or on their own. But there are those that will not do that I explained before. I said those that do not produce light on their own or of their own, we shall just put here the word non, non-luminous. So long as you know luminous, then the other opposite part of it will not be a problem to us. So therefore, let's list all these under here. It's just a matter of bringing all these that are here. We bring it up under luminous objects because they produce light of their own. So you will allow me to guide you that all this, all this, all this, all these are examples of luminous objects. But in this list, we shall hardly see any object that is non-luminous. So it's only the non-luminous that I want to bring down here. Because we have already understood that all these, all these that can produce light of their own, they are luminous. Why don't I just a matter of bringing those we have not seen here, because they don't produce light of their own, but they reflect light that comes from some of these objects. But at night or at the time they do it, we think they are producing light of their own. So they are just reflectors, if I would say, they are simply reflectors. They reflect. They throw back light which is coming from a source. So therefore, non-luminous. Non-luminous objects are the ones we shall have here. And the, the best example. Children, remember we have talked about non-luminous. I told you, here we are not going to waste much time. Why? We already have all these objects. All these objects, they fall under luminous objects. I said, I repeat, I repeat. Luminous objects, these are objects or these are materials that emit, that produce their own light. But when we come to the opposite here, non-luminous, it means objects that do not produce light of their own. Objects 
that do not produce their own light. Those are non-luminous objects. They do not produce light of their own. So we're going to list them here. And I told you, I want to begin with, I want to begin with the, um, the moon, which always confuses us. Moon. At night we see bright light even when there is no, last night it happened. Even today, tomorrow, another day it's going to be. You are going to find out that um, at night is very bright, it even overpowers, it even overpowers um, electricity, the light from the electricity. You see the light is sparkling clear because of the moon. But um, the moon isn't the one producing that light. The moon is just reflecting. It, is, it acts like uh, uh, the mirror. The mirror I told you that you try it and you see. Okay? So the mirror will um, act like the moon. Between the moon and the sun, that's going to be the mirror and the light from the sun. Try it, try it out and you see. Check that out. Check that out. So therefore, um, you are going to realize that um, um, this moon does not produce light of its own. It doesn't produce light of its own, and uh, it's reflecting the light coming from the sun. Let's look at another one. Let me put it in the mirror here. Mirror. Mirror. Play with the mirror. Boys and girls, you're free to play with the mirror. Even you can get just a shiny surface. Just get any shiny surface. Tilt it towards. I used to see, and I always see you disturbing your friends in the class, and you get that new mathematical set of yours. I always see you tilting it in the class and it keeps disturbing the eyes of your friends as it reflects. So when you get a mirror, of course the surface of the mirror is very shiny. Tilt it towards the source of light. Commonly use that one of the sun because it is the one which is common to all of us. Tilt it and you are going to see that mirror. It's going to reflect that light from the uh, sun. You are not going to say that the mirror is not producing light. No, it's just reflecting. The mirror is not it. Producing. Then we have planets. 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 They also uh, do not produce, but um, uh, they. So, boys and girls, uh, it's important now to note that um, these three objects I've listed down here, they are completely different from these others listed before. Uh, you need to note which one is non-luminous and which one is luminous. I said, remember, luminous, they produce light of their own. Non-luminous, they do not produce light of their own. Actually, we can simply in short terms call them light reflectors. They just reflect light from another source. So you should take note of that. Uh, boys and girls, uh, with that, we have come to the end of our session. However, we are having some work that you're going to do under the few things that we have covered today. Uh, this work is there for you. At the same time, we shall even have it ready for download. If you cannot download, once you get our work here, this one automatically will also be there. You can either do this immediately as it appears here, or you can go ahead and download the same questions under our platform. Thank you, and thank you very much. But keep at home, remember, there is this dangerous disease, corona, it still exists. Follow the rules of your parents, do not go out. Thank you very much.